Indonesia's Reformation For more than 13 years, Indonesia was governed by Suharto as the president after the era of President Sukarno. As the people start to feel injustice, several cracks emerged that shook the political condition. Political tensions in the capital city increased by the numerous riots that occurred in several cities and violent ethnic classes. The government became unstable and struggled as a monetary crisis hit Asia in the second half of 1997. Indonesia suffered the most, prices rose massively and many business went bankrupt. As the economy fell down, people got angry and protests occurred everywhere. The protests became bigger and riots started in many parts of Indonesia. During the monetary crisis, Suharto could maintain his position as president when he was re-elected in March 1998. However, Suharto did not do anything that could help the economy. As the government seemed helpless in bringing the economy back, people demand President Suharto to step down. Demonstrations were held everywhere and it became the peak with the Trisakti incident on 12 May 1998. Four students were shot to death when demonstrating at Trisakti University at Jakarta, and nine students were killed at Semanggi. The incident led to huge riots in Jakarta and various cities all over Indonesia. Finally, Suharto was pushed to step down and the Reformation era began in Indonesia until now.